Payments to reap the crop have been increased, but the minister says cotton harvesting is difficult. We have to do a number of things uh, in order to bring it back. Um, I've had queries from a couple of private um, persons who have expressed an interest in getting involved as well. And once we can confirm their involvement and get them going, uh, we would do a comprehensive overhaul of the cotton industry to make sure that uh, we look at how it can be mechanized because the time has come now where we're going to have to look at how it can be mechanized and then look at how we can increase the production of cotton as well. When I first came to the ministry, I actually wanted us to get up to 2,000 acres of land for cotton because that would help us to meet our quota. But Mr. Bay believes the prevailing conditions make the industry attractive for private investment, to which he is open. I also wanted us to go back uh, looking at how we can create our own lint and do um, our own textiles as well. So there's work to be done. Uh, we have obviously to find the partners to work with us. Um, I see this as a great opportunity for private investment and uh, I'm going to pursue the conversation with those people who have queried how they can get involved. Turning the industry into a full value chain is the direction in which to go and the agriculture minister says he supports the mechanization of the industry. But he says all indicators are pointing to a better harvest this year. I don't just want to go cotton to export in bulk as we are currently doing. I am interested in the full value chain and therefore the conversations that I am about to have will certainly be in pursuit of getting a full value chain industry out of cotton. The 10 week long 2023 cotton harvest will end next month. Trevor Thorpe, CBC News.